All right, so like I said, the brakes weren't working on this at all. <clears throat> I got that all cleaned out. That stuff is just pitted. <clears throat> and do a brake job on the front calipers. Those babies are hard lined in. Not much flexible on that. And then uh, on the back, took, oof, you can see it, took the bleeder out there. And then there's another bleeder right there. Which is the goofiest setup, but again, it's Polaris. It's over-engineered. So took those out. I've blown out that line. This one here. And then the other one, that one right there. I've blown it out to make sure there's no obstruction in it. So I got air flowing through those. Now I've got to disconnect these. This one. That one. And we'll see if we can blow the air through those to make sure they're cleared out. I'm getting, uh, see if they're taking any pressure at all. In the process of putting this beast on. I had to take this adapter out because that brake bolt doesn't fit. That's what I did. I blew out all the lines as you already saw. Make sure everything was clear. And then I had the uh, bleeder valves, little bleeders there. I had every one of those, the four of them, like I showed you previously, had every one of them loose. So they weren't tight. So they were, you know, basically in the bleed position where you're, you, um, where the fluid, excuse me, will come out. This top one, is affected by the, the brake handle up there. The bottom one here is what is affected by the brake pedal for the rear. Now, <clears throat> what I did, I had this reservoir cap off. I'm using Lucas Synthetic here. <clears throat> Put a bunch in there. And I just kept squeezing, kept squeezing, kept squeezing all the way down. As you can see, now it's already tight right there. It's tight. But nevertheless, I just keep squeezing it. Keep squeezing it. You'll see little bitty bubbles coming up here. It's going down. It's going into the lines. Going down to that little splitter right there, which goes that way, that way. And then this one comes all the way back here to the rear. Goes all the way back there to that. <clears throat> Anyways, you got to do that several times keep topping it off just make sure as soon you know when it, once it starts getting a little low you don't want to suck air into there so you pour more on you just keep pouring more in keep doing this you'll start feeling it get kind of tight and then all of a sudden you'll see seepage coming out of this one because it's the closest one as soon as you see the seepage coming out of that bleeder tighten it up come back up here make sure you're topped off keep squeezing it then you'll see seepage coming out of that one Right down there, <clears throat> that valve, that bleeder valve. Anyways, once you see that, you go over there. Once you see that one start seeping out, you tighten it up. Keep squeezing, keep squeezing. Make sure you top that off every time. You come back here, and you'll see this one, the top one. Out of these two that are here, you'll see this one start to seep. Tighten it up. Then you come over here, fill up that little reservoir right there. Make sure she's good. You know, water or the <laughs> the brake fluid's coming down in there. Once it's coming down in there, you what I did was take the old pump, hooked it up here, just like that. It's already tightened up now. And then took it over here on this side and I squeeze that way the air pressure sucks the stuff through the brake fluid through and as I'm doing that keep your top off of this one by the way you'll see the level of brake fluid start going down as soon as it goes down about halfway stop with your your air top this back off 
had to do it two or three times and once I started seeing brake fluid in the line right there I knew it had filled the reservoir or the the caliper on the other side excuse me <clears throat> top this off capped it off took this off of there came over here and voila nice and tight then that one's already bled because it just I used the the bleeder on it then I came up here started on the furthest one away from the reservoir and you just pump it a few times when you're over on that side let me get back over here you just reach across pump it a few times and then hold it and then you just take and barely then you just take and barely freaking um, open that bleeder as you're holding that thing down and you'll feel your brake lever collapse all the way down to where it's touching the rubber handle and when it does as soon as it touches the rubber handle up there you keep it down but then you tighten that bleeder back up do it a couple more times tighten that bleeder back up do that side a few more times and uh, you do the same exact setup the same thing on this side and after everything was done i topped this off and then i put the cap on last thing i did was put that cap on but brakes working now